Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to look at this plastic welding gun I picked up from Amazon. There's loads and loads and loads of different uh, makes, but they all look the same. So the chances are just generic. So we're going to have a look at this, and we're going to show you what's inside it, and then I'm going to try to find something I can repair. And I bought this just on a whim to try it, because I've always wanted to do it. There's been a couple of times when I've had broken plastic panels and things on motorbikes and such. And I wanted to fix it. Uh, at the minute, I, I don't have anything with, like, what needs fixing, but it's something uh, which I picked up anyway. So the box it came in like is this, just coming in a jiffy bag. Obviously, different makes, different companies. This was broke off, uh, uh, and there's also a crack in the plastic there, as you can see. Not really bothered, uh, but just so you know, uh, it was no damage to the internals. The packaging is good enough. Uh, so that's what you get inside. Hopefully you can see that okay. There's a little bit of instruction. Can't really read it. It's like a bit, not, it's a bit hard to read. But uh, it's got some diagrams showing you the different staples. What to use. There's loads of videos you can, you can just go on and get a video of somebody using one. Uh, if you're not quite sure there's a lot. So, comes with uh, a little craft knife, just for trimming plastic of things, set of cheap uh, snippers, they need like freeing up a little bit, they're a bit sticky, they're not really open yet, but uh, after a bit of use they might, just for trimming off them, so it comes with that, not that I'm bothered about that, I mean, but it's better than nothing. And then it comes with a box with four different types of clips. So the, the first type of clips, I'll just show you, just so you've got an idea. And then what I'll do is I'll go and try to find something we can repair. And we can see with them ones, it's hard to see. It's like a wavy. So this will be one for fixing like a bridge. So like that type of crack there. Oh that's a corner one, but if there was a similar crack along there you could use that. I assume, I've never done it before. Uh, I understand how it works, you just heat it up, push it through, not all the way, halfway through the material, and then, then let it cool down. We'll have a look at that, we'll do that together. Uh, like I say, I've never had a go, so I don't really... I did watch a video, that's how I actually... Actually, that's how I bought it, I watched a video by mistake. And I thought, oh, they're handy, and so I bought one. So there's them types. It's like an M, or a W shape. Just want to put them back in the right box, bags. That. And then there's these ones, which are... If I can get the bag open. The only thing about these little tiny bags, I can sometimes stick together. Oh, that's the bigger version of that wavy one. So, like, bridges a little bit more. And obviously, you're going to use multiple ones of these to fix. I mean, you could, you could probably glue the item, then use the staples, uh, and then after that, use some sort of heat gun or salt and iron. Uh, which I'm going to, I've got an old sword and I'm going to make a different tip so I can flatten flatten it out. So when you when the glue, when the plastic rises up when it melts, then you can flatten it back off again, make a better job before you sand it down, if you need to sand it. And then these ones, I take it for corners. So these ones are going to go like, say that, that was cracked there, which it is. I think from the inside maybe. Yeah, that crack there, you would come in and Shove that into that corner. It's like a 45. Don't know, I'll try it. It'll probably make a mess of it, but I don't care. It's worth a try. So that's what comes in the box. There's the gun. This is a 240 version. Just close that. This is the 240 version. I'm in the UK. So there's a UK plug. Uh, and it should have. I can't really read that, but I'll check the fuse. Try and see the colour. I don't know what the rating is. It's really hard to see on there. You can't trust these anyway, so you'd have to put a, a fuse in. So, 
there's a light on it, a little LED, so you can illuminate what, what you want to do. And then you put, you get the piece you want to put in, slots into there, like so. Pull the trigger, it heats up, and then you put it into the corner, or whatever you're doing. Yeah, and that would go into there like this. It would leave two, and then you pull it out when it's cold, trim them bits off. Uh, and that's it. You just work your way around the, the joint which is broken to fix it. So what I'm going to do uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, Go and look for something to fix But there's some plastic thing I'll break even if we have to and then we're gonna have a little go so go back to the workshop and I'll uh, I'll catch you there. This model if anyone's interested is the H51 Got it on Amazon, there's different colours, it comes in black. I prefer the black one more for some reason, but it's got some weight to it actually. It feels like there's something in there, a transformer something. On the back it's got 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, power 50 watt, measurements 230, 160, 45. Uh, but it feels decent quality, it doesn't feel cheap. It looks quite nice. So hopefully it's it's working, so I'll be back in a minute. Right guys, so we're at the just at the bench, uh, I found this. Uh, it was just a, you know, like a extension reel which was broke. I was thrown out actually. So lucky I found that. And what happened is someone stood on it, and they broke that off. I did try to glue it before with some glue, uh, hot glue. Uh, now I've repaired. I've had a go. First time I've had a go, so that was cracked there. So where that was, someone stood on it, I think, or fell on it or something. Uh, and there's a crack along there, if you can see that. Yeah. So I've just done one staple, that's all I've done. One of them staples, they haven't glued anything. As you can see, that's not bad for one. I mean, I'll probably put like another one, and I'll also glue it as well. Uh, so that's that's that. Let's gonna I'm gonna show you now. See if I, this works. I'm gonna glue or repair that to there like that. Probably do it from the outside. Although it doesn't make any difference. Really, do it from the inside. And then I'm gonna trim them off. So uh, these go into there. Just be careful. The sharp. The end. The them are like pointy. So you can spike yourself a little bit. Okay, so the main thing is, I need to find, can you see that okay? Yeah. I need to probably hold it. What I'll probably do is put some tape on, some sellotape, masking tape or something on one side. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to try and hold it, <laughs> see if it works. So when I pull the trigger, if you can see that, light comes on, that heats up. Let that cool down again, then you take it out. So what I'll do is I'll it's a bit awkward this really. I'm gonna do just where my finger is there. I'm gonna do it this way actually, if I can see. Ah oh, shit, I've gone all the way through. Far too much, I didn't realise how thin that was. Yeah, that's another good point. I've gone all the way through. How thick your materials didn't really. I thought that was a bit thicker. I see in that say. Anyway, we'll have another go. Doesn't matter. You can fill it in, can you, with glue? Put another one in. So maybe this type of it might be uh, only good for certain thicknesses. I think this is about two mil. If you can see that. So this time I'm just going to just below the surface. It out. Yeah, you can see the image is just coming through, so that it hasn't got much. So this is not ideal. That one's gone through, obviously. I'll try another one. I'm not going to waste a lot on this because I'm not keeping it. I just thought I'd show you. But yeah, it's pretty good, pretty cool. One thing I did notice. Uh, because this must be Nikram, Nikram wire, 
if you get a straight one you can use it for cutting plastic like say you wanted to scoop out plastic just make a straight bend out of some, uh, one of them and you can scoop plastic off and uh, cut through polystyrene make a loop like a loop one and you can cut past uh, polystyrene and such so let's do another one up here see whether we can fix that hopefully you can see that you could glue it as well that's a better one you can see just to see, see the S coming through that's better that's not bad I mean obviously you'd go all the way along and then once you've got what you want you can use your side cutters to trim these off just don't want the metal bits going all over the floor and a stand on them so you can see it just goes like that, it does leave a tiny little bit uh, but it's not bad actually it's stronger than I thought because uh, because it's going downwards it's going to come come apart there but really if, if that was all cut off and then I'd run some plastic in there melt it up again and then sand it so yeah that's working this one I'll do another one in there just to show you okay, have we got a corner we can practice on mm, no. I'll do one of these small ones what is it Oh no, it's too small. I'll do another one. Oh, one of these big ones. These wide ones, these W shaped ones. Try one of those. Okay. No, you can't. They're the wrong ones. Yeah, the only ones you can do for flat ones is going to be these then. These uh, zigzag ones. So that's good. Let's try another one. From the top, hopefully, you can see that. We'll do one just there. You can see that. Just wait a few seconds before I take it out. It hasn't gone through. That one's actually deeper than that one. If you're doing this on the inside, you wouldn't have anything on the outside. Be a lot more neater. And that is a good fix. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a permanent fix, I think. Especially if you uh, run some more plastic in. Now what I'll do is, uh, I might have a little practice and come back to this video before I upload it and then I might cut this off run some plastic find some plastic like the same type of plastic uh, cut it into strips and then just run it in get a warm heat gun on it first but yeah uh, seems pretty good it's got a light on there it's up and like I said multifunction I'm going to use this for I've just figured it out look. I'll make it like a like a square loop like a square and you can cut cut plastic down say you wanted to cut this off you could you sort of cut down and go around can you see that okay and you can cut that off without getting a dremel in and things or say you wanted to cut that tag off you can just cut the tag off go through like that cut it off if you wanted a nice piece of flat to make something you cut all this off so i think that's uh uh, bonus it comes with a few tools uh, right guys what I'll do is uh, I'll wrap this video up if you like it give us a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one